Hello folks, this is Fuzzfinger, welcome back to Nino Cooney, and today we are back once again in the Golden Grove, yippee! So we've got an errand to do here, uh, what I did uh, since the previous episode in fact was collect the three slapsticks that we needed for the quest, if you don't know what I'm talking about then go back to the previous episode and find out, it actually took me probably about 35-40 minutes in order to get them. Uh, I'm not sure if I was doing something wrong, you have to blind the enemies in order to be able to get them to drop these slapsticks. And I just wasn't getting any, even though I was thought at least thought I was blinding them. But then all of a sudden I got all three in really quick succession, so... Maybe blind wears off quite quickly or something, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I've got the slapsticks and now we're back all the way in the Golden Grove, which is northwest of Elma Moon. And over here we've got this big chubby fairy. And he's got quite an interesting errand for us that's going to involve uh, combat. So this is the first time we've been able to access this errand. It's only just opened up for us. This is task number 53 and it's called Boars in the Bushes. And as the name sounds, uh, it's not going to be a pacifist's quest. But we do get an incredible six merit stamps, which I think is probably about the most we've ever received for a single errand. So we've got three encounters to worry about. As you can see, there's uh, lit on the map with three little blue dots. Uh, this is actually going to be a little bit tricky because I've recently, off camera, uh, replaced a couple of my familiars. I've replaced Mito, who was level 25, with Biggs who is a pretty good uh, tank type thing and a definite upgrade actually to Mito will probably serve us well to, uh, up to the end of the game or at least close to it and that's a little big horn which I found outside of Old Smokey uh, don't think we can open purple chests yet so I'm not going to bother with that uh, oh, also I picked up a uh, where are we? A bonehead from the Alma Moon Desert, and given that as a melee attacker for a uh, Swain. So we're going to see exactly how we get on here. Uh, I am kind of tempted to get rid of these while we do these fights, but no, we're going to keep them. We'll keep them. I mean, we need to level them up with experience anyway. So we're going to head to the crossroads first where the first boar awaits and obviously if we do get beaten up we'll just go back to the uh, waypoint stone in order to heal up but for now we're going to take care of these and I think we'll take care of the two colourful ads first which tends to make sense he says as he goes right and attacks the hyper boar Okay, we'll just attack whatever we're attacking. The Hyperbore actually, oh, we're not doing very good damage to him actually. The Hyperbore does about, it's half dead, I probably shouldn't switch targets, uh, does, a, uh, has about 600 hit points. And that ear split doesn't sound brilliant. Uh, it did a little bit of damage, but nothing too uh, bad. And I don't think it really hits us with much in the way of status ailments either. So we've definitely fought harder bosses. Recharging now, so we'll switch over to uh, to Oliver, I think, and we'll pulse away at the hyper ball. Let's see if we can get his health down a little bit more. Go on, Esther, you grab the good old. Well, there goes the hyper ball. And now I'm going to switch back to Thumber. No, I'm not. He's still recharging. Wow, he's got quite a long recharge time. There we go. And we've got one more small lad to take care of. So, yeah, this battle wasn't exactly as hard as I expected. But it is only for a single errand. Mind you, we do have to uh, fight two more of these things after. Which we'll go and take care of now. Let's see if we get a lot of experience for that and level up our two new familiars. That'd be nice. That'd be ideal. 173, we'll take that. 
Level 9 to level 10, thank you. And Scully, our bonehead, has also leveled up two levels. One down, two to go, indeed. Uh, where are they? Okay, it's quite a linear progression. We'll just keep heading this way. Uh, the other enemies are running away from us now, anyhow. So, we won't be having any problems with them, I, I would think. And this time we are going to take care of the two small lads before anything else. So we'll bring Thumbo back into the action. He's quite good actually, Thumbo. Let's be risky and go for all out attack. That means we won't be getting any healing in uh, for this. And I was kind of hoping that this boar would be dead now. So we are going to have to play this a little bit cautiously. Oh, come on, kill him, please. Go all out defensive and get some healing back. Esther could do with a heal, although it looks like nobody cares about healing her just yet, so let's go to Esther. Ah, she's got no MP. We'll go to provisions and what gives MP nowadays. Strong coffee. Is that all we got in the way of coffee? One strong coffee. That sucks. Still. Better than nothing. Uh, I'm thinking we're going to have to heal up at the Waystone before uh, uh, fighting the final boar. In fact, we are going to have to throw an emergency heal onto Oliver. Let's try and run away with him so that he doesn't take much in the way of damage. At least that's the idea, but wow. This battle seems a lot tougher all of a sudden. Okay. Let's go back to Thumbo. And let's try and take out this crashing boar B. That's it. That's it. Ask you to stay on healing. Let us take care of the mobs themselves. Wow, Thumbo is pretty awesome. I haven't used him all that much in all honesty. Although I do like him. Mm, he doesn't do much against the Hyper Ball though. He's doing blue damage. So with that said, we'll grab the green things. And switch on over to Ollie who is welcome to throw a couple of pulses his way. One more do you think we need? Nah, all done. What can I say? It's a gift. So I'm kind of thinking we're going to need to go and heal up before we take on the final one. Another 173 experience though, I'll take that. Two down, one to go. Which way are we heading? We're heading north. It's been a while since I've had to fully explore the Golden Grove. But by the way, I parked the sea cow uh, by Castaway Cove because I'm going to head over to Alma Moon to hand in one of the other errands we've recently completed. You are more than welcome if you don't want to have to uh, trek all that way, park on the beach to the east. I don't go there. Uh, to the east of uh, the map, the world map. The only problem with that, we do want to go up here actually, is that you'll be entering this area, Golden Grove, from the wrong side. But in my opinion, it's still going to be a little bit quicker. But since I'm going to Alma Moon anyway, oh, I don't believe we've come the complete wrong way. Look. We're going to have to go all the way back around now. That's me, that is talking when I should have been concentrating. Come on, Oliver. The annoying thing is we're going to have to come all the way back here as well. Uh, in fact, while we are near the exit, I am just going to see if we can grab some spring water from the rolling hills. Uh, that would be for errand number... Uh, 52. 
forth here, where uh, we need to basically craft something, something like that anyway. I've got all the ingredients, uh, you'll need to get booster shoots and uh, spring water and slumber not leaves. Now everything except spring water I had in my bags anyway. Spring water can be found in the forage points uh, in the rolling hills area. The only problem is you've got to actually find the points themselves. Uh, where are we on the map? See, there's the beach you can park at. Wow, there's one. Talk about a massive detour. We're like miles away from the sea cow now. Come on, a bit of spring water would be nice. Nope, don't need booster shoots, but in case you're wondering if you can get them from the same area, the answer is yes, you can. It looks sort of like some of them want to come after us. Although I'd be surprised by that because, well, they'd just be pwned really quickly, quite frankly. I'll tell you what, I'm going to pause this video and get back to you once I've got this spring water. See you in a moment, folks. Okay, folks, I've got the spring water and we are now back in the Golden Grove. I'm just going to see if we can make that item uh, before we proceed further. So, uh, this is for task number 52, the cold medicine. And we need a bottle of spring water, one of. Uh, slumber. Is that what right? slumber not leaves? Yes. And one booster shoots. I managed to find a couple of those as well, looking for the spring water. Let's see if this works. Ah! I've just thought, I guess we don't actually craft it. It's okay, I've still got the spring water, we're just giving the ingredients. Ah, oh, kind of makes sense I suppose. Right, let's go and do this final uh, bore. Where is he? Okay, he's round a little bit. But that's okay, we've got to go all the way back round to the end anyway to hand the errand in afterwards. Or you, go away. I don't want to be entering combat with you. Jump over the good old mushrooms. If I remember, we couldn't do that straight away. We had to access something. I'm going back a while now, so... Right. Let's... Oh, I'll be got there three this nothing. time. Three ads. Wow. Here goes. Okay, let's take care of uh, letter A first. Fashion ball A. Come on everyone, take care. And he's got his bonehead out, which kind of sucks because bonehead doesn't actually do that much damage in his house, only level 10. Still, Swain must know what he's doing. Personally, I wouldn't be using him, but... Right, that's the first one down. Uh, B next. And Esther, you just need to be a little bit cautious there. Let's take control of Esther, shall we? Hopefully this isn't going to kill us, because I do want to heal up. And it did kill us. Marvellous. And I haven't saved either, have I? So we're going to have to waste uh, a Phoenix thingy, which we don't have. No, of course we don't. So now we've got a two-man the rest. Well, isn't that just marvellous? Right, let's keep Swain healed then. Oh yeah, because that's awesome. Oh, do not die, Swain. Do not die. I'd say if Swain dies, we uh, basically would die as well. Because there is simply no way we would solo the rest of this. Right, so we're just going to carry on casting provisions, keeping us nicely healed while Swain takes out the boars. While we've got a moment, we'll cast Pulse. Although that didn't kill him, 
would have been nice if it did. Let's cast another one, shall we? I mean, Mr. Drippy, you can help out at any time if you feel like it. Okay, another one dead. Uh, let's take out the crashing or sun. And we do need to keep Swain healed up. Oh, he can heal himself as well. Yeah, we're going to heal him. Roger. And the next boar is already down to half health. Well, that's pretty awesome. Maybe a couple of extra spells and Oliver will do the trick. Oh, I just realised I don't think Swain can heal himself because he hasn't got a healing uh, familiar. He was just getting the green pots, the green orbs. And I don't blame him, to be honest. Come on, Swain. I guess he's relying on MP. And why do I get the feeling he hasn't got any? Well, we're just down to the little mini boss now. So we can solo it. It's a little bit tricky, but we keep swaying up. Belly Buster, that doesn't sound uh, healthy. And now we'll pulse this guy to death. Come on, spells. Unfortunately, Thumbo doesn't actually do any damage or not much, so I don't run out, want to run out of MP just yet. We can cast this twice more. Once more. Ah, 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 ah. Get that, get that. Right, we can cast it again now. That is if Oliver would actually stand up. Oh, 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 get another one. Mm, we need another one still. We need another blue orb. Can't do nothing. Come on, Swain. I tell you what, we'll switch over to Combo. He doesn't do much damage, but he can melee this guy to death now, I think. See? Easy. That wasn't a challenge at all with three ads, was it? No, of course not. Yeah, just don't underestimate those battles, seriously. 225 experience. Not bad. Biggs has levelled up and so has Scully. Right then, which way are we heading? Not that way. Yeah, we've got a nice long trek down. At least the enemies shouldn't be bothering us. Well, that's the idea anyway. Make sure I'm going the right way. Believe me, I've done that before. I might have done it on camera, I can't remember, but I've definitely done it off camera. Don't worry, I'm not going to hurt you. You leave me alone, I'll leave you alone. See, look, I was going the wrong way. Yeah, it's best when you're trying to run away from me, not to run towards me. Right, now where are we going? Is it a linear trip? Uh, yes, it is. and grab the waystone for a good old heal. In fact, I think we're going to end the episode here. It'll be a nice start to the next episode, handing in a uh, Evan that we've just completed, and then we'll go and hand some more Evans in as well, and continue on with the story. So thank you very much for joining me, folks. Uh, please hit the like button if you've enjoyed this video, and subscribe to the channel. I've been your host, Fuzzfinger, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.